Good morning, everybody. I'm Henry Lee. Now I'm at uh, home um, to do a live painting uh, with a Phalaenopsis, Phalaenopsis and a hummingbird. Uh, I wish you can see my inspiration. Let me focus on this flower and the, the window. So outside the window, I have a, a feeder for hummingbirds. They're coming uh, back and forth. Uh, I got a light of sunshine on the flower beautifully in the morning. So I have to do it fast to, to capture that in watercolor because in, in Chinese painting, we normally don't uh, try to do the changing light. Um, but uh, in watercolor, we have the opportunity to do it more realistically. Um, that's why I try to use watercolor, but uh, I use Chinese brush man, uh, concept and manner. <coughs> so you'll see. Okay, I don't have time to do the, the sketch, uh, so I just start with a uh, uh, wet, wash of the background. So I try to divide my uh, painting into into some uh, sections. I use uh, a, a, a yellow tone, a yellow kind of tone to just a create some uh, space. Use my favorite brush. Okay, I will uh, ignore the the uh, window blinds for now. Just to see what I can do. Uh, let me see. I can still do some sky. I think so. A little wash. Let's the color change. You got the beautiful clouds there. In the, in the sky there. Just a little bit. And there, there are trees outside outside the window. This thing. Trees where there are just coming coming birds leaves. So when I um, try to do the conversation, I concentrate on the uh, blocks. Some dark there. And my main dark will be here for the leaves. Let me take a look at uh, my inspiration so you can focus on what I'm doing. I wish uh, you can also, I actually I'll all enlarge it to do the hummingbirds later. So let me just concentrate on the flower for now. I'm not going to wash the brushes so there's some uh, yellow ochre remain there. That's okay. It's my large brush is like my palette. I, I don't have uh, much uh, blending area. I just, you know, touch all the colors, uh, multiple colors 
to do the and use my paper as the pallet. Okay. Um, for now, I think I'm going to dry the the painting, uh, dry the paper. Bear with me if I got noise. Okay, sorry about the noise. Now I I uh, I did a little bit shading uh, while I was uh, drying the, the paper because uh, I want to have some uh, uh, dark shade here. So now I will get some uh, local color to do the leaves. Um, I try not to do the flowers for now because the leaf really created the. Um, the uh, movement for the flower. Um, I think uh, the focus will be hummingbirds and flowers. So this leaf may be uh, not the focus. So I just add a little color to finish that. Let me see. It's a green color. Green. Cold. On the, because it's against the light, so I get some yellow here. Just a little, a little bit there. A very nice light on the edge of the leaf. It's very easy to get uh, flying white with this brush and uh, the uh, rough paper I'm use using. There's one leaf uh, actually behind this, but I will move down there to just change a little bit. And uh, I want to do that leaf behind to keep it in the profile. Uh, okay, I have. One leaf, something like that. Right. I'm going to dry the brush with the paper towel. I will do the uh, the flowers. Let's just do the flowers. The main things comes uh, first. So I know what others to omit. Less is more, right? So I just use uh, some lavender color. I don't have white, I have to use the, uh, <coughs> the background. So there are um, three main petals and uh, uh, two, it's like a triangular behind and uh, two big butterfly petals uh, plus a large uh, center. So um, in watercolor we concentrate on the the shape, the shape, um, and 
the uh, overall impression, I will say. So the, there's some flowers in pink, some in um, dark. So I, I will do the dark maybe easier. Just uh, let me just do a little pink to start with. So my my uh, brush is loaded with the uh, gradation, and uh, just play with the angle. You get all the the shade in one stroke, like in water in Chinese watercolor. And try to do it in calligraphy way. Um, just okay. Some uh, rose matter for the dark, and uh, some ultramarine, the purple. So we make it really purple. Oh, this is dark. <coughs> I think I got yellow in it, and that's okay. And it means black. That's what the, that would be great. Just to uh, try to capture the dark and that kind of you you paint the light flower with dark And the dark, I just uh, make it uh, uh, the same color to do this uh, this little one calligraphically. I think I um, instead of uh, in reality the 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 two uh, three strokes in uh, three petals in the same color, but I bump it into two, and I will save uh, the tongue with a medium tone to make it more interesting. Um, let me do it here so you can see. Let me, do, let me turn this a little bit. So I can do this flower there. Actually, my, my paper is uh, like uh, so this one will go further on top. So I try to create a diagonal, not the straight. For the hummingbird to, to, to feed the hummingbird, this one. So I light the, the color again. Just a little dark to the tip. That's one stroke. You know, try to get get it done in one one touch. And there's there's better on the top, and then two. We really don't see in this angle. You see, it's behind. So just. Like that, and uh, let me add this one. Try too much details, <laughs> maybe. Try too much details. Um, let me get some butt, then we'll be done. So the the main purpose is the. Hummingbirds still to come. Let me just get some uh, darks and try to create a shading. I 
I intend to do the dark first. And then just add. My habit is different than others. I realized it was a watercolor. Um, I, I tend to keep this blending area clean, but uh, I will mess, mess up with the, the colors. The anyway, let me finish this. I'm not ready to, sh to teach you watercolor yet because uh, my, my message may be totally different than what you have learned from others. I don't want to. Uh, so for me, warm and the coat on the same brush is very handy. I just, you know, plant a little red into green so I get this uh, nice um, color with uh, both warm and the coat. On the on the same in the same stroke. Keep adding the dark. So when I goes down there, <coughs> um, so how handy that is. There's a side branch. So you just get all the colors in one stroke. That's why what uh, the Chinese watercolor is good at. And I got some uh, uh, splatters already on the paper before I start. That's great. Uh, I just saved it. So my flowers are there, and uh, I can uh, suggest a Another branch, uh, a new, new from the center of this. Uh, I already have this uh, here, so I just paint the shady part a little bit. And uh, not complete, you know, it, it's good that, that this one could go also go there in, in your imagination, so you don't have to complete everything. It's just suggestively. If something does not work, just erase it. So my my paper towel could be my brush at this point. Okay, I think that's it. Um, I wish the hummingbirds are coming back. So we try to add the hummingbirds. I have to think about the golden rule, so not to paint right in the middle, right? There, so there. I'll pen from my impression. So you kind of visualize it before you touch the, the paper. See if I need to add a little dark to the leaves here. I 
you hear them that they're not coming. Anyway, let me do the birds if I mind. I've been watching them for a year. Last year we had uh, hummingbirds nest in our mango. Watched for several months from uh, um, incubating to fledge. It's very, very special treat. I wish I can document, uh, finish my editing. Doc you can see the last year's uh, um, Facebook postings with that. Coming birds. Okay, it's it's uh, sitting there. So, but anyway, I got that idea. Okay, let me finish by adding the little little that little feet. That's the hint. Not too much. No.
I think that's it. Um, let me see if I can uh, find a place to sign in, in English. This is the watercolor, not uh, traditional uh, Chinese brush painting, but I do use a Chinese brush to uh, paint in a Chinese manner, uh, which is very poetic. Uh, capture the feelings rather than what uh, I really see. Um, so let me just write on this side to balance the composition, I think. I think it's just like uh, placing a Chinese uh, signature is part of the the composition, so I need to be careful where to put my signatures. Let me just do it here. Just make it small. Right. Initials. And I'll put it a year. I start teaching myself watercolor about uh, one year ago, so I keep dating my painting so you know my progress. Um, so that's that's the finished touch. I'm not going to mess up more. Maybe just a little bit here. The red butt coming out. All right. Let me give you some uh, close up. I'll take a picture with uh, my uh, camera and uh, add it to the final final edition. Thank you for watching and uh, have a great uh, springtime. Uh, while you're lying for the flowers, so just plant some indoor plants um, like uh, Phalaenopsis. I'll do more in the uh, process of blooming uh, flowers. I have a beautiful candidate here. Let me just give you a preview. I did this one um, last year with the root. Actually, it was sitting in a pot like that, and the pot was uh, um, blue. So you can take a look at that painting. I set it as a gift uh, in Blue Heron Arts. You can get a painting from me while you purchase uh, Merchandise, the art supplies from uh, Blue Heron Arts. Um, so I, I have given this kind of painting out uh, in, in our website. You can check. I just make the wings a little blurry. Anyway, um, if you if you like to purchase this uh, brush, uh, you can get a discount code. Uh, let me give it to you right now. You have a pen ready. Um, spell as YouTuber. Y, capital Y, as in YouTube. O U, and capital T, as in YouTube. Uh, U B with R, E R. YouTuber, like yourself. I'm watching. Um, and you get the reward for watching my video when you purchase uh, merchandise from uh, Blue Heron Arts. Um, you get this uh, all year round. Don't have to wait for special uh, promotion. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.